In this video, we're gonna check out a Fifine USB microphone. Now before we get started, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, hit the little bell, do all the YouTube nonsense, helps the channel continue to grow and I really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about how this microphone sounds, especially at its price point. This microphone is extremely well made, it comes with a very sturdy base and a USB cable and a little adapter so that you can attach it to a mic stand. In the base of the microphone, there's the part where the adapter can go into, there's your micro USB connection point, and then a eighth inch headphone jack. The cool thing about this microphone is it doubles almost like an audio interface. You can plug your headphone in here and you can monitor directly off of it, but you can also hear any audio that would be playing in your computer. You just have to go into the settings and select the microphone. On the front of the microphone, there's a mute button, and then on the back, there's a, two controls, one for the headphone volume output and then another for the microphone gain. So it basically has a preamp built in on it as well, which is super cool. So you can really get your, your levels set correctly. The overall build quality of this microphone is fantastic. Um, really impressed with how well it's made. It's heavy and it's got some serious weight to it, both with the bass and then the microphone itself. So I'm gonna talk into the microphone. I'm also gonna play a couple instruments into the microphone so you can get an idea of what it sounds like on, on different sources. This is definitely a great podcasting microphone, but it could also work very well you know, for entry level you know, recording of instruments. I'm also gonna compare it with another condenser microphone that I have, one that costs basically double or triple what this costs, but that way you can get an idea of how this stacks up to another microphone. Okay, here's what the Fifine microphone sounds like. Obviously, it's been a couple days since I shot the last video, but you know, sometimes that's the way it goes. Right now, I'm recording direct into Digital Performer. I'm not going to use any EQ compression um, or any extra effects just to let you know exactly what the microphone itself sounds like. I do think a pop filter would probably be a good idea when I do the you know, peas, the uh, the plosives there get kind of bad. Um, so I'll do a test on a MXL microphone uh, to show you the difference, and I won't use a pop filter on that mic either. Um, I'm monitoring directly right with the headphones, so I can hear myself really well, which is super cool. I can also hear any audio in the computer um, if I was to be playing back, you know, something. So I think if you are like a podcaster, this mic is awesome to get you started. You can use just your, you know, whatever Apple Buds just to monitor. And then uh, only other thing I would recommend investing in is just a, a pop filter to go on the mic so that you don't, you know, get those plosives going on. Um, the quality of this mic is great. I think, you know, for how much it costs, what it comes with, this is like fantastic bang for buck. And you obviously, you know, you could just keep it on the desktop as well. It's a pretty hot mic. So if you're in like a quiet room right now, there's a lot of reverb in, in my room. But I think even if like if I back up a bit and just crank the crank the gain a little and just sit back. You can still hear me really well. It's picking up a lot of the reverb of the room, unfortunately. So if you were in some sort of a, you know, I've heard like the lad, last podcast on the left guys talk about how they used to be in just like some closet somewhere in like a back of a restaurant or something. I don't even know. So, you know, keeping this on your desk, just turning the, the, uh, the gain up on the mic. And if your room was just quiet enough, like if you were in even like a closet, that would, that would really work for podcasting. So I think this mic is awesome. I'm going to do a short little test playing my acoustic guitar, playing my Taylor and give you an idea what that is going to sound like. So, um, all right, let's change gears. <laughs> Okay, and for comparison, here is an MXL condenser microphone. I've had this one for around 20 years. My setup is a little different. This is a regular microphone, so you need to have some sort of an interface to get it into your computer, whereas the Fifine one has a uh, USB is how it connects, so you don't need an extra interface. Right now, this is running through a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. That's also fairly old as well now. So the Fifine USB microphone is going to be substantially cheaper 
cheaper, you could probably get a mic like this used for around $50 to $75, and then you'd have to get an interface as well, which is probably going to be around another $100 to $125, um, whereas the Fifine mic is, I want to say, around $85, $90. So it's going to do all of that just to get you started, and I think that is a pretty good bang for buck. You can judge which microphone you think sounds better. I am being fair on both of these mics. Uh, no pop filter on both, so you're getting those plosives. You would want a pop filter on both of these. You'd get better results that way. And I'm not using any EQ or compression of any sort. It's just direct into Digital Performer, kicked right out, and then just synced up with the camera uh, after the fact. Mm -hmm. 